what if our, co- our parents were more comfortable to discuss this like just as we we have conversations to say you can't fail you need to study you know uh people who don't study no don't but why can't you fail though no I, but that's what they say right that's oh, okay. what I'm, i'm not saying that's what's right i'm saying oh. this is what our parents are able to say this yeah. is what we mm. grew up with them having the okay. confidence to speak of but it wasn't common i don't know in your houses but it wasn't common in my home to mm. say don't sleep with boys it's not good they it they gonna glamorize it and they gonna pressurize you into doing it but don't do it mm. and this is why you shouldn't do it and if you do it these are the results just as if you don't study you're gonna get into the exam you're gonna go blank and you're gonna mm. fail and then you're not gonna go to university yeah. and then, you know if we spoke about it and also okay that's one speak about it and number two, if being a virgin and being in your marriage bed as a virgin as just the two of you was glamorized and it was spoken about more often and you were told about the benefits of having that special experience if we spoke about it more if you saw it in more uh, I don't know if you see it in any movie um and social media and if these influencers instead of doing what they do they showed us the other side what difference would we see in the lives of young women young men and married people and even in the divorce rate what do you guys say um, okay um firstly let me just shout out to my dad uh-huh I just exempt him over this because my okay. dad had that talk with me nice. to be not to be all fairness my dad has sat me down and has told me that look you know one two three four five nice. you know marriage sex is going to happen mm. my dad was pretty honest like look, you're gonna get to a point in your in life with the age with desire. the desires are just gonna like really come over you yeah and then he's always told me come and speak to me about it nice i don't want you to try and deal with it yourself come nice. and speak to me so we can deal with it mm-hmm. so the truth of the matter is it does help yeah. <clears throat> um i'm what we call a late bloomer i didn't have sex in high school okay Yeah, I'm I'm a bit of a late bloomer to be quite right. because I've always believed in sex after marriage. Yeah. And I still believe in that. It's just what happened that that happened it is what it is. Yeah. I don't hold myself against that. I'm happy it happened. I'm a better person today. Mm. So to answer your question, it does really help a lot and if if your parents speak to you and they mm. let you know and it's it obviously it's not a common thing where a father's comfortable speaking to the kids about it because then apart from that they are, in most homes unfortunately the fathers aren't even there that's a yeah. topic for another yeah, yeah, day true. yeah true yeah true sadly and yeah. Um, i think mainly it's the questions that come after such a conversation yeah me and my dad are pretty open, open with each other so i i ask some questions mm-hmm. you know um not to put it out there but me and my dad speak okay. you know we tell that's each enough. other <laughs> there is no <laughs> the hiding stuff you know yeah. we tell it as it is because yeah. he tells me as it is yeah he's told me his um this is the sexual his relationship yeah. he's told me he told me what he has underwent and what he has gone through mm. so that i don't have to go through it and mm. if ever i do that's gonna fall on me yeah which is where i'm at right now so that's on my fault now because he did mm. tell me about it yeah so I, i i endorse it i support it and i believe that that should be a common thing within families and homes yeah let the children know it and if ever they still fall under that path it's on them yeah as a mother as a father and it's not just on men alone even women Women. speak to the kids as well to their females and to fight them as well because as long as a girl says no um a a man would step down you would like your coach said no you pull Mm. back is what it is but as you know it um um it's nice when you come in a relationship as virgins together Mm. because the bond is stronger Mm. no one has comparison yeah you don't come and say oh but my ex did this yeah she did that you both knew to this you both don't know what to expect so as soon as it happens heaven on earth yeah. right there and then you know and this comes off from the first encounters mm. as even me the first time it happened i was like oh this is so nice yeah had she stayed life would have been perfect you know because then today i wouldn't be like i wouldn't be with someone and comparing her to someone, someone else. else yeah so yeah uh being a virgin is the best thing no oh. it really is <laughs> You know, it really, really is. I, I don't regret not being a virgin today. <laughs> And I can say it because my dad knows. I did tell him about it. Mm-hmm. I don't regret not being a virgin today. It's nice. I don't regret it. But I would prefer my child not to do it. Mm-hmm. But it's, again, it's on him. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna... So what like, you're saying, if you could, would you be a virgin now? Would you have yes, avoided definitely. everything else? No, yeah, but like, just like I said, before I get married, I would rather not have it. But would you, if you could? If I can, yes. Okay. Oh, no, I, I just I'll, wanted I'll to be clear and we no, stand can, here. If I can rewind time, I would rewind time. Okay. Because I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Because there's nothing I'm... There's a lot of things I'm more proud of doing. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things I'm more proud that I did. Mm-hmm. But obviously, that's happened. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to... Like I said, I don't 
record myself. You can use or it to teach other young men. Like, you know, like with the example that I made, I'm fortunate enough to be one of the strong. My dad raised me strong. Yeah. So I'm able to let go of all my past and learn from it and yeah. make myself a better man. Mm-hmm. And my fruits show for it today. Like if you look at my life, you can tell, okay, hell has bettered himself okay. despite the things that he has done and gone through. So I'm one of the, the giants that I spoke about. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> if you want to marry a giant, <laughs> yes, <laughs> what? <laughs> you? <laughs> if you're a pillow boy, like, yes, come. <laughs> Ghost? Um, so I, I think it would be great if parents could start having such conversations with, with their children, their household. Mm. Um, yeah, but also to get to that point, then we'd need to start raising proper families and changing the the mindset towards family yeah you know because right now if you look at the statistics right Mm. it shows that it shows the differences between children that were raised by both parents yeah compared to children that were raised by single Single parents parents, right even between the single parents there's differences between children that were raised by the mother alone and the father alone Mm -hmm. right now those those effects like they're not easy to just identify or just Mm. bring out like that in a conversation Mm. but if parents and men could take the responsibility from the beginning that yo if i'm gonna do this with this girl i'm gonna have sex with her i should be responsible enough to take care of whatever the results may be you know have that stand and understand that this is what's this these are the possibilities with the outcome yeah. and be ready for all of them if man can have that understanding and we get into it responsibly then it will help to avoid a lot of mistakes it will help to avoid a lot of problems mm-hmm. then that way then in your family bringing up your children you bring them up properly with mm-hmm. the lessons that you mentioned and then children also as they grow up they'll make better decisions children that grew up with both parents that were involved properly the according to statistics right you can go look them up i don't know the stats by by head but these are researchers that i looked into Mm. you'll see that those children tend to have tend to have better outcomes in life Mm. tend to be more prosperous Mm. or more successful in their lives because of how they grew up even if they might not have the most money but they always seem to live a better and a more comfortable life Mm. Right, and they seem to be more happy. Whilst the other side, when you grow up without a father, you then you become so driven that everything becomes money because my father was not there. My mother, like yeah. you're so driven yeah. by so many like things that the, the foundation of right, your drive is, is wrong. Yeah. So much that when you get the money, when you get the wealth, it you 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 don't understand the dynamics of how to deal with all of that and mm. people around you so you start mistreating people Mm. you start objectifying women you start mistreating them you have a girl in your life but she's just an object Mm. she everything here in your house she can't call it he hers Mm. it's all yours Mm. but she's in your life like that you know so those are things that if we start from the beginning having that understanding and that breakdown it will help to avoid a lot of confusion and a lot of problems i think everything starts from home yeah 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 thank you guys thank you for your time thank you for your views thank you for exposing us um (laughs) in conclusion uh what advice do you have for young women young men out there um single people married people anyone relating to relationships what's your final advice any okay my final advice um This is based on how I live my mm-hmm. life, I think. Just, okay, firstly, know who you are as an individual. Do not expect someone else to tell you who you are. Be able to stand alone, mm-hmm. firstly. You know, do not be dependent on someone else to cover your areas of weakness. Mm-hmm. You know, stand on your own, know who you are. Know what you want in this life. Have a vision for yourself mm-hmm. before bringing anyone else into it. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Yeah, be able to stand alone, know who you are. For me, those are for me, those are fundamental. As long as you know who you are, 
you'll be able to understand that and as much as everything is accessible not everything is for you yeah you know and just to pick an example just because you know you can drink doesn't mean drink because yeah. you know you can smoke does not mean smoke mm. and that only comes in once you know who you are and what you want in this life mm. um you know we, we all have an end goal but not a part not all paths are the same yeah so know your path be able to stand alone because there are moments where you're gonna be alone mm. and you have to deal with things on your own so for me, those are the main two uh, things that I would give. And this applies to not just in relationships, but even in life. Yeah. Know who you are and have a vision for your life. You know, um, Don't be a yes man. Mm -hmm. Don't follow the wind. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those, that, that's, my, that's my advice for anyone. That's pretty much how I live my life as well. Thank yeah. you. Mr. Ghost? Um, I would say that no two, no two people or two situations are all, they're exactly the same right mm. everything is different everybody's different everybody thinks differently if ever you find yourself around people that all you do is just agree with mm. everything you do is just the same the same mentality and then you compare like from when we met to now how far have I grown in life you know mm. if you look at elements like that it should tell you whether or not you're around the right crowds or not right now when you have that, then it helps also with you taking charge of your growth, your personal improvement, and you get to know yourself better, like you were saying. Study yourself, get mm. to know where you stand, mm. get to know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. It doesn't mean because the majority agreed with this particular form of thinking, that is the right way to think. It's, it's good to disagree, it's good to have a different perspective. That's why men and women working together is the best thing in a relationship mm -hmm. because you're coming with two different perspectives. Yeah. The reason why you have two eyes is because it helps you to see better. Yeah. Somebody with one eye, it looks like it looks like you're looking at 2D, you know, flat images, but mm -hmm. with two eyes you you get perspective. You get to see you get to see you get to see different angles, you get to understand life much better. Now imagine if you have two people with different experiences in life, with different understandings, it'll help you become such a better person and you're gonna go to places that you might not have imagined. You know, it's it makes life much easier. You just have to find that healthy person, that healthy relationship and the healthy friends around you. Then it'll, but to do that, you need to be healthy first. Mm -hmm. Just take care of yourself. Free, free thinking for me is the key. Like. I don't like how the world has turned out now. Like everybody, if you disagree with a particular you're topic, wrong. you're wrong and you're bad. Yeah. Like there's no room to teach. There's no room to learn. There's no room for growth. Now they just expect you to do things mm -hmm. this way. If not, then you're off. Yeah. For me, that's, yeah. yeah. So just along with him, just one line. Uh, society should not decide the norm mm -hmm. for anyone. Just because society says we're all going left doesn't mean we should all go left. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, pretty much that. Don't let society de 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 decide your norm for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you both for your time. Thank you for your time. Uh, I hope you learned what to do, what not to do. Um, yeah, I don't judge you, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, you've been judging us the whole time. Do you think I've been judging them? No. Okay, I didn't mean but to it's judge. Cool. Maybe I judged, but I, I was kind of shocked. No, no we, 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 don't, we don't mind. You, you help us. Yeah. 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 And you also cornered us to actually speak out more, uh -huh. giving out more than what we wanted to initially, which enlightens the viewers and everyone else. So yeah. 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 At the end of the day, it all worked out for the best. And, as much yeah, as and we held we back the, some the, things. We were the goats, mm -hmm. the sacrifices, but <laughs> at your expense... It was worth it. We, we actually held back some things that could have been offensive to some people. Uh -huh. But <laughs> we appreciate that. You know, for the sake of you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate yeah. it. You have good, 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 good questions. You actually, you are very good. So, congrats on that. Thank you. You, you squeezed that more than what we were, we were willing to give you today. <laughs> so, congrats you. on that. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, yeah, that was it on this episode of Relationship Dynamics. We heard it from the guys, um, and I believe that it wasn't just for guys. Both guys and girls could tell or could learn from here what to do, what not to do, what is right, what is wrong, um, understanding each other's perspectives. And yeah, share your views in the comment section. Like the video, share it with someone who might 
benefit from it and watch the next one where our next guest discusses their views on relationship dynamics. Mm-hmm.